We're back. Okay, so... I think we established last time that the only thing that we have left to do, story-wise, is the grand mission of Ultimate Destiny. Mm-hmm. We're not ready for that. Hell no. Y'all ready for this? What we're doing today is a Red Hexasode. Yeah. So, I'm what so we're gonna... I'm so excited. What we're gonna do before we take on the last boss is we're gonna work from level 12 all the way up to the top of Chandelier. Uh-huh. And we're gonna hex everything and get as many bezel shards as possible, both by hexing things and also by fighting all the red square bosses that Tech loves so much. I love him. He has, like, photos of all of them, like, under his pillow. It's a little weird. Yeah, you know, I think I'm gonna put them on the ceiling. Because now that it's out, I'll yeah. hide it. So I'm just gonna put it all on the ceiling. So I don't Your lady acquisition's gonna love that. Yeah, she's gonna love it. She's gonna be like... She's gonna be really excited. She's gonna be like, oh, yeah, is it... Alternate the the palette swap version of Man Truck. Yeah, that's that's what she'll say. Uh, what we're doing here at the Guild House on level four is that Tech points out that we should probably get some uh, station hexes so that we can save on various floors. Um, so in order to do that, we need to trade in five of a particular colored hex. Um, and oh, that's what the color means. Wait. I was like, why do we care what color the fucking station hex is? It's because... It's because you have to trade in five of So you should color. clearly use the one we have 74 of. Yeah, I don't think it matters a ton what color you actually use. So, like, let's... Three is probably enough. This is a good place to start. We also have one red one already. We'll, we'll start with this if we decide we need more. I doubt we can we get will. them. Yeah. I don't know. I don't actually know off the top of my head. I think the only place we've ever bought them was here on level four in Evil City. Yeah. I don't know if there's ones on other floors. Maybe we'll look that up at some point. We won't. The information's on the internet. It's not that hard. Figure it out. All right, one more order of business before we drop down to level 12 is that today, all bugs are off. Tech and I are swapping the controller back and forth, and even I am not subjecting Tech to trying to figure out who's playing when in the future based on us talking about what's going on. That's very sweet of you. That sounds really obnoxious. All right, well, no more bugs. Box All right. opening gesture. Yes, he did it. I, I will verify that as a prescient witness. All right, to level, level 12. 12. We made it. Remember this place? We were here not long ago. It's the lowest place that we haven't hexed. Level 12 on this side. The other one I did previously. Pretty sure that was still on camera. Hex that shit, motherfucker. All right, so... I haven't yet asked you what you thought of The Hobbit, but you went to see it already. I did. I saw it with our good friend Brian. It was uh, too long. Too long, eh? Too long. I enjoyed it. I thought the high frame rate thing was really cool. Oh, I did, did certainly you, did wouldn't... You went to one of those ones? <coughs> I did. I certainly wouldn't use it for every film. Certainly would not. I think that did, did they do that really sweet camera trick from uh, Hunger Games? Did they do that? At all? You mean being out of focus at all times? Yes, that's the one. No, I they, loved they, they that didn't, one. They didn't. Remember that. when we saw that together and I like threw up on you? <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, that was uh, great. No, they didn't do that. Thank Interesting. God. Interesting. Uh, most things were in focus at all times. Um, it was, yeah, it was uh, sadly just too long. There was a bunch of scenes that weren't even in the books. In the book, book singular. What is the point of that? <coughs> like it, like, it's like they're already splitting it into, books. but like they're splitting it into so many movies already. Like why? yeah, they're splitting it into, into so many movies, like sort of in a like way to like add more to the story, tell a more complete story than the book does, I guess. Because that's what they're doing. They're they're right. talking about characters that were never in the book, and the, the the movie just sort of takes a scope beyond just telling Bilbo's story, which I have a severe problem with, especially since the beginning of the movie is like the original guy who played Bilbo being like I'm I'm old now but I was young once and here Frodo let me tell you my story in this writing of the book that I'm writing right and you're like all right so this is going to be about Bilbo and then there's like scenes <laughs> they're just like clearly not from his perspective yes at all. there's scenes with just Gandalf and other characters talking yes. and and Sorry. not only that there's a there's a whole scene a whole long ass scene. Oh, you got a bunch of stuff. Yeah. So far, I haven't noticed scene. anything of relevance. <laughs> Keep going. There's a whole long ass scene with a um, a character who never appears in the book. <laughs> That's great. Who, in fact, I don't even think appears in any of the in, in the Hobbit or any of the three Lord of the Rings books. He's in like the Silmarillion yeah, or yeah. some shit like that. <clears throat> and 
as Brian put it, he's like, if I hadn't read the Silmarillion in, like, every freaking Lord of the Rings book there is, I would have hated this movie. And I, That I doesn't seem like a good sign or strategy. I disagree with him. I think he, he tends to be a little extreme. He his, does, generally, but... Um, my, my impression of the movie was, if you cut out all the things that aren't actually in The Hobbit, it was a great movie. So you just your your main issue. Look, we got a bezel shard. Bam. Your your main issue is that you want you want the Hobbit movie to actually be about the Hobbit book. Believe it or not, I do. I do in Interesting. fact. Interesting. That's a very quirky and I think most likely an uncommon opinion. I'm, I'm what can I say? I'm a weird guy, I guess. Yeah. By the way, I, mean, like I don't to, have to guess. I I'd know like to that compliment pretty... you on the the efficiency you've got going here, because this is not something I would have the patience. Well, this is why I'm do. doing this part, and you're focusing on the other part. Yeah, I couldn't do this. I mean, like we have a limited number of hexes. I'm trying to be as efficient as possible. Yeah, you're doing a great job. I'm playing like super Tetris, toxic grenade. We're at least picking up a couple of stray hexes to help <laughs> this out. Yeah. Because this is this is going to get more and more difficult. We have very few of these ones, which are super useful. That's going to be a problem Yeah. not long from now. Yeah. Um, anyway, so I do recommend seeing it. I do recommend seeing it in 3D, and I do recommend seeing it at a high frame rate. Because really? That's... You, re you recommend... Well, I guess the high frame rate is only 3D. Is that correct? That's probably true. I mean, they, they as a thing, work really well together. It actually makes 3D more enjoyable, in my opinion, because it feels different. You know what I mean? Like, a 3D film just looks like a film that's, like, weird looking. Whereas yeah. this, like, feels different and has that 3D feeling to it. So the 3D actually feels better in this movie than it has in Five previous. dog droppings. Oh, shit. We're in the money now. Seriously. Seriously, dog. Get it? Because it's droppings from a dog. Lol. What terminal is this? I don't think we care even remotely, but I'm curious anyway. Bezel shard number two! Oh, wow. We're really... There's a bunch oh, of them. hero gauge up! On the lower levels, there's a bunch of them, according to what I <laughs> researched a little while ago. All right. Terminal experience. That's... It's almost worth me investing. Nah, nah, it's not. I because, said almost. Because remember, you have to take it from another level where there requires a colored hex. Yeah, we could do that. No. No, we could do that. No, we can't do that. But we could do that. Um, the thing we could do is that. Anyway, so go see it, but... You know, with those caveats. Right, right. Um, I'm excited to see the other ones. I think that it, it, it does a really good job of setting up the other ones to an extreme degree. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, like, seriously, like, introduces us to every fucking character. I mean, my, my dad is, is much more into Lord of the Rings than I am, and, it, and I talked to him about this a little bit, and he was like, I never understood why they did the Lord of the Rings... Uh, movies without first doing The Hobbit because, like, the backstory from it is just so important to, like, understanding what's going on. Yeah, it's true. And, like, why you care. He's, he's right. Um, that's probably true. And that may even be a fact, because I've never actually read the books at all. Yeah. Like, I haven't even tried. They're just so intimidating, and the I'm not much the for Hobbit reading anyway. The Hobbit is really, really accessible. Yeah. Compared to the other three. It's yeah. It's really accessible. I mean, part of me was definitely kind of excited for The Hobbit before, like, I started learning some of this stuff about just, like, Oh, they're splitting it into three movies and blah, blah, blah. Like, it just seems like... I don't know. Yeah. It, 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 it makes... It unfortunately makes the most accessible Lord of the Rings book as inaccessible well, as yeah, the, but, the other Lord of the what, Rings Well, yeah, because what it sounds like they're trying to do with it is to, like, bridge all the gaps that they created by doing the Lord of the Rings movies first. Yeah. So... Oh, we got another bezel shark. Oh, wow. So, uh, like, this, this should have been... It should have been like something that's straightforward that you could watch to make the other ones more exciting. Yeah. But instead, it makes sense of the movies that already have the gaps in the like. It's just it's a backwards way to handle the situation. Yeah. So I wasn't thrilled. I enjoyed it. It was a fun ride. I was glad it was as long well, as it, it was. was. A, it was a ride. Yeah, bezel shard. Yeah, we got fucking, another. Hey, man, we're fucking rolling with these special shards. But yeah, the lower low, they got a ton of them, bro. So like the thing was is that like I didn't want it to be over at sooner. It's not like I was like looking at my watch or anything, you know. I was I knew it. It was there long was just stuff in it that you felt was unnecessary. <coughs> exactly. It's a separate issue. So like you could cut out forty minutes and be fine, or you could replace those forty minutes with more stuff about the fucking characters the book is about, as opposed to just adding a whole new character. Or you could take what's in the box, which might be a boat. Oh, that's a good point. Oh, uh, sweet. We got a Sonic chug. chug. Oh, chug. I thought this is Sonic chunk. I was like, mm. what's it? Sonic, Sonic Chunk. Sonic Chunk. <laughs> Dead Man's Chungs. 
What? <laughs> it's from uh, Hocus Pocus. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, it's been a while since I watched Hocus Pocus. <laughs> not this, so up on my Hocus this, Pocus quotes. <laughs> is this a movie or TV reference that I have that you do not know? That, yes, but only like I've seen the movie. It's just you're clearly citing something fairly specific from it. So it was a kids' movie from like I when we were movie. actually children. I love that movie. All right, so you know when um, what's his face when the bullies are locked up in the cages and the witches are all hanging out with them. I vaguely and remember this. Like, we're yeah. gonna eat them. Right. And Sarah Jessica Parker, oh, Parker's wait, like what, spinning what them around. Up? I skipped through that because I was like, I don't recognize that. But I was like, wait, no, I don't recognize I, what that was. I wasn't watching it. Leave a comment. Maybe you know. Um. Anyway, so Sarah Jessica Parker's like spinning them around, and he's the guy's like, I'm gonna puke. And then they're like oh, trying to figure out what the, the ingredients. Gauntlets. I think that might be the same thing, or something similar. Weird. Maybe it's like a um, fashion accessory, or a side it might quest. Be. It might be. You know what I mean, like yeah, like yeah. lock trunk or something. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so they're trying to figure out what the uh, what the potion ingredients were because they don't have the book. Right. And so best bezel shard. shard. Like and one so more, and we bezel up again. Yeah, I think so. And so the, they were like, dead man's chungs? Did dead men even have chungs? And then the, the guy in the thing was like, dead man's chungs! And he's like rubbing his throat. Anyway, I saw this movie a lot when I was a kid. Yeah, every, clearly. Every Halloween I watched clearly it Clearly, like he twice. did that. It was a good movie. <clears throat> anyway, so the, the, the end of this conversation about The Hobbit is, go see Hocus Pocus. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Uh, yeah, that's the one I want. You're the one that I want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm doing grease now. Bezel, Bezel shard. shard. Hero gauge Hero up. Hero gauge up. This is awesome. We should have done this sooner. Yeah. I mean, this probably would have made our first attempt to play through that final thing much <coughs> closer to being a realistic goal. Yeah. Oh, well. Raz Aqua. Sure. I don't know Pretty that sure is, that's a fashion thing. Sure, great. Love the fashion You're thing. You're gonna use up all of our hexes just on this one level. Well, this this floor is pretty big. Yeah. It's not like the biggest, but it's still it's rather big, large. and it's also really weirdly shaped. Yeah, like some of them you can just sort of like fit whatever you want into yeah, them, but yeah. like this one is like weirdly shaped in places, so only certain ones are useful. Yeah. But again, there's a reason why I have to be responsible for this because you'd just be like, "Yeah, fuck it," and we'd already be like out of important ones and have like a bunch of like yeah. not so useful ones. Yeah. I also saw Wreck It Ralph. Finally, with, Jeez. Uh, with uh, the lady acquisition, that was uh, that was an enjoyable experience. I really liked. I liked it. that movie. I was I was a little, to be honest, a little unnerved by Sarah Silverman's presence in the movie and the character that she really? voiced. Simply because when I think of Sarah Silverman, I, th I think of like shitty like vagina jokes. Well, yeah, I mean that's sort of what she's known I for. I don't. But I that don't, doesn't. That, you know, cards that doesn't on the table. necessarily impact her. Ability to yeah, do other it, it things. just sort of colors my my like view of her existence, and so when I when I realized it was her, I was like, oh. But then I just sort of was like, all right, whatever, it's fine. She's good. I was happy with her her performance, but I just I don't know. I find her crass and unfunny. She is general. Like I'm I'm no fan of hers, but I thought she did a really good job in that. So like, I I had no issue with it. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that was good. I recommend that wholeheartedly. Yeah, I, I mean, I I I, I, uh, I liked Wreck It Ralph. It wasn't my favorite, but I, the the problem was it, it's in this weird best shard. shard. It's in this weird. There's there's sort of like a middle ground for movies where it's like if a movie's really bad, it's really bad. If a movie's really good, it's really good. Yeah. And then there's like ones that are like quite good, but like have some like really glaring problems, and you're like. Uh, for me, at least, I become like hyper aware of those because I'm like, oh, this movie was like almost perfect, and then there's this thing that just doesn't work for me. What like, was glaring why? about Wreck-It Ralph to you? It, it was like, it was it was like a couple of things. Like none of them were really big. It's it's been long enough since I watched it. I can't like remember them off the top of my head. Like, All right. I don't know. It, well, when I'm not trying to like do geometric nonsense I might be able to like <laughs> remember some of it a little bit have a coherent thought yeah. beyond <laughs> ah, <laughs> squares yeah I know I'm a little bit like ah uh, shapes <laughs> shapes are really hard <laughs> um I think yeah I'm, gonna, I'm doubling up on something at this point yeah it's like, gonna happen um anyway it was rec good I recommend that yeah it's, it's very good especially if you got good. kids definitely take your children great, yeah great kids movie I think that's the last one on the whole floor uh, 
Sub zero rounds. Did I miss something? Doesn't that usually like announce something with trumpets and fanfare? Yo, it usually is like you've completed a floor, now you can warp. Yeah. Or maybe you did you you didn't miss anything under a terminal, right? Because they don't pop up until you get them, right? Uh I don't know. Well, we could try walking on all the terminals. Fuck you. Looks funny walking with those machine guns. He does. Really He's got long thing. arms. That one we have. That, well, that one we definitely had because we spent a bunch of time moving through it before. That one we have. There's no point in not double checking. It was already on the way. Yeah. It's the only other one, right? I think so. All right. Great. All Maybe right. it only does it the first time. Well, I mean, part of it is also that t level 12 is the only floor that splits. Yeah. But we, I think we've already covered the entire other half. We'll have to double check it, I guess, but I'm pretty sure we have it. All right, my turn. Your turn. All right, I'm going to start with, uh, oh, I'm going to make a hex Yeah, you first. should, you should hex someplace. It's not too late to run. Lucky for you, I oh, guys thought that was the Hammer Brothers. I'm like, seriously? It's like 8 p.m. on a Sunday. What's wrong with you? It's the Christmas people. Yeah. Where should I put it? Anywhere it will let you put it. Br bring up the hex screen. Scroll. Yeah, do that. Why do we have so many teal? Why is teal the one we had like 75 of? I don't know. Well, I'm gonna put it like here. This is a pretty, pretty convenient location. Yeah. See, we one could theoretically, location. because that's a colored hex, you could theoretically build off of that if you wanted to make use of the terminals. Oh, that's true. Maybe that's how you're supposed to do that? Maybe. I don't know. I I'm pretty sure the weird elevator thing works, too. Whatever. Uh, override save data. Yeah, at this point, I don't think it's worth our time. We, no. we may end up having to, like, fill a floor with colored hexes. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God, that's true. We might have to do we, that. We might have to do that. All right, pick a square. We got, like, six of them or something. All right, I will do this one. Because it's closest? Wish us luck. There's a leader. That makes it easy. Theoretically. Yeah, theoretically. The leader could be invincible. We don't know. Fair point. Good thing we got double machine guns. Who's that guy? His name is... Storm Zonker. That's a weird name. Yeah, the double machine guns definitely help. Definitely, definitely help. Well, that's sweet. She said it was nice knowing us. Well, that's very nice of her. I bet she's gonna miss us when we kill her. Probably. You miss someone when you're dead? I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hang around and haunt people. Yeah, that's. I think I actually good. agreed to haunt my friend Top Hat. Oh, really? Yeah, I think he once like asked me like point blank that if I died first, that I should haunt him to prove that there was an afterlife. That's cool. Can you come visit me and let me know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure I won't be spending all my time with him because I don't think he wants me, like, cramping his style. Yeah, that would be. Would be a little bit of a dick move, I guess. Also, I'm sure there's just some stuff he's doing that he probably doesn't want me watching. Yeah. Stuff you probably don't want to see either. Yeah, maybe. I don't know if you know this. Guys are gross. Yeah, guys are pretty gross. We're, we're kind of nasty. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd rather not think about myself doing some of the stuff that I do as a yeah, guy. Yeah. It's just not... No. It's not it's, it's we bad. got a perfect date. Yeah, we got a perfect date. We don't need that. That was actually surprisingly easy. Yeah, well, <laughs> we'll see how long that holds up. Yeah. I'm guessing zero. I'm going to try not to get overconfident and save after all of them. It's, it's very important to save after all of these because... <coughs> even though at this point in the game we're probably a high enough level to deal with the vast majority of these... There have been some really unfortunate incidents in the past where we're like, we'll just do one square, and we're like, we literally cannot do this. <laughs> we need to st we need to reload and like repeat it like half a dungeon or something. Yeah, see, this is more what I was expecting. That is a Burt Yeti. A Burt Yeti. Yeah. It's like uh, it's like on the show Recess when there's like a bunch of girls all named Ashley. This is like a club of Yetis who are all named Burt. <laughs> Wow, that, that Burt Yeti is fast. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Looks like you're going to have to jump. I believe I am. There you go. Maybe we should break a gate? 
Oh, there's also guys. I didn't notice the guys. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. It's like, oh, electro grenades. My fave or right. Those do oh. rank highly with you. Vashon didn't get stunned though. He didn't somehow. I mean, I think there's generally only a chance. I would just assume that it's a very high chance because it usually happens to us. I'm gonna go for the other Yeti now. That's probably correct. Okay, so, uh, after I had my experience on that trial, which we'll talk about in further detail... Yeah, you're talking about it now, hey. Soon enough. No? But yeah, um, I, we, we are at a point where I'm allowed to talk about it. The judge even, like, at the end, he's like, Now you can talk about it at your discretion. I don't give a shit. Go away now. <laughs> uh, side note, we, at the end of the day, he was, he was sort of like... Like, after sentencing, which we weren't around for, he, he, like, sent us back to the deliberation room. And then, like, he himself came into the deliberation room and, like, brought us all into his chambers. It was like, anyone have any questions? I'm like, it's a really weird time to ask that. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're, we're done now. I don't... What, I, what, what are we gonna ask Yeah, you? like, I don't... I, just, I don't know. Where's the nearest Dairy Queen? <laughs> yeah, right? Um, but so Take after that experience, I, I was, you know, I've been thinking, thinking like, a, like a detective, almost. Uh -huh. And so I was thinking, in Resonance of Fate, like... Ballistics would be way more useful to you than fingerprints. Yeah, it's true. Because there's so many guns, and like, I mean, if by this point in the game we only have, what, like six guns, I think? Yeah. So like, even, even if we're like switching out the guns every time we murder someone, like, someone could still trace us as like, super serial killers. Yeah, it's true. Totally right. I mean, I would actually really love to see, like, Law and Order Basel. <laughs> I would watch that. Because, like, literally every episode would be a gun murder. And it would just be like... <laughs> like, I would just love to see the process of detectives trying to, like, track down all the leads. Like, oh, he was shot. Well, that tells us basically nothing. <laughs> that tells <laughs> us someone was here. He's an average citizen. <laughs> it's actually almost more surprising that there were witnesses. <laughs> because <laughs> everyone just gets shot. Do you, do you think that's what happens in a leader assault? Is that, like, all the other people run away to go tell the cops that you, like, murdered some people? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Leveled up! This duel Although, one, one thing. thing we do know about the laws in Basel is that robbing from the weak is the law around here, which seems to be every single place you could go in the entirety of Basel. Also something about rats and traps, I don't know. Yeah. Also strong weak. Also strong weak. <laughs> It's my favorite week of the year on the Discovery Channel. <laughs> better than Shark Week? Oh yeah, Strong Week's way better than Shark Week. Is that all about Strong Bed? <laughs> yeah, which is why it's better. <laughs> Holy crap, welcome to Strong Week! <laughs> <laughs> I'd watch the shit out of that. So would I. I'm so excited to like edit now that I have this animation for my like December project. Oh man, it's gonna blow people's minds. Yeah. They're gonna stop watching us just because we're not as professional as you guys. Yeah, but like they're also gonna stop watching everything on my channel other than like the few I weeks of material that I have. <laughs> I think we got front. a bezel shard. You skipped out of it. I, I gotta know. stop doing that. Yeah. I also didn't pay close attention to how many shards we already had because it's not continuous with what my recollection of from them what, were. From what I saw, we have. Um, What's it called? We have one... We had one little chunk. We have a quarter. And that was before the end of that? Yeah. I think that sounds right? Well, we'll find out in just a second how much we have now. Damn it! It's better. Whoosh! How are you going to edit that so that makes sense? Oh, look at Jackpot! The, the jukeboxes! Uh, also, you're correct. We have half a thing now. And I think you were right before. Yeah, I'm pretty being sure I had a bezel shirt. Wait, I got a bezel shirt. Blabbly! No one's gonna understand that, because, like, that doesn't even make sense to us. All right, something now, that happened. How did it happen? I don't, like, I was just being, like, really obtuse and started making, like, sounds instead of, like, answering when you were trying to talk to me in the suite, I think. Yeah, that sounds like you. I feel like anything that sounds like me actually sounds really unpleasant. <laughs> like, why Why do people talk to me? Aww, you got lamed. Yeah, I did get lamed. These guys are only level 30. Do they do like a million? I mean, they're doing They're doing a well. fair amount. This Considering they're level 30, they're doing pretty well. Like, if you did this... If you did this at the halfway point in the game, it would have been unpleasant. Yeah. 
Yeah, it would be incredible. Like, we would already have died at least once, probably, in the amount of time we've been doing this. Yeah. Yeah, they do a lot of damage. I really feel are. like these should be called one-armed bandits. <laughs> I feel like that's a much more appropriate name for them as an enemy. Alright. Uh, cross one more time. Double cross? How dare you. Why would you betray my trust like that? That's what I do. John Woo shit! I fucked up that limb so hard. Yeah, but only that one limb. <laughs> Scratch damage real full. I wish that the game could make that distinction. Yeah. Scratch damage real full. Real fucking full. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, so... Not so easy. All the shards stayed close to her, though. I wonder if the distance that the shards fly away from you is also impacted by what enemy does it? And, like, how much damage the attack does? Because at some point we, we did like light research on it and discovered that like enemy type and attack have some role in, in determining like how many bezel cases break and yeah, like, how yeah. many shards you lose. It's really complicated, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm sure that there's some like equation that the game uses that would be complete gibberish even if I looked at it. Yeah. Guns, guns, guns! Boom, 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 boom. Oh man, are you excited for the end of the world? Super excited. I'm gonna be on a plane that day. Yeah, so am I. It's pretty exciting. We're doing. We're flying the same. I know. We, we are you on the same airline? What airline are you flying? I'm Virgin. Oh no. What are you on this side? Uh, I don't even remember. <laughs> like U.S. Air or something. We had oh, to, I'm so sorry. We had to do something. Oh, shitty yeah, that makes sense because you were doing the the different arrangements. Yeah. Uh oh, I hope it's not U.S. Airways. I don't like that. My uh, the guy I work with is a car show. Calls it U.S. Scare. I think you mentioned that to me. I don't know if you mentioned that to, uh, to them, though. Oh, yeah. He thinks he's funny. Yes, that's not actually a joke. Which is... It was, like, one of the catchphrases. Uh, recently, uh, some people who follow me on Twitter and stuff might know that last year, my friends and I did a marathon watching the entire series of Lidsville, which is a Sid and Marty Croft thing with, like, puppets and midgets in costumes. It's really racially insensitive. Right. Um, and so, like, this year... And just recently, like a couple days ago, as of this recording, uh, we watched the entirety of Puffin Stuff in one night. Mm. <sighs> it was so much worse than Lidsville. What is it about? Puffin Stuff. That like it it its its premise isn't even as straightforward as Lidsville. The premise of Puffin which Stuff, is, which is hard to believe. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, like the premise of Lidsville is that a kid goes to a magic show at a Six Flags, and he's like, "Holy shit, magic!" So he goes backstage and like fucks with the magician's hat. And it turns into a portal into a nightmarish dimension of living hats. Right. And he falls in and gets stuck there and has no way of escaping. Right. That's Lidsville. Puff and stuff, the premise is a boy is walking along uh, on the on the coast of Big Bear Lake. Perfect day. Perfect day. Uh, Big Bear Lake? Like like Big Bear? Like like, like Big California? Bear Mountain. And yeah. Like Big Bear. All right. Um, and uh, he, has, he already possesses a magical flute. Already has the magic. Flute. He already at the like before anything happens, he possesses a magical flute, which is never explained why he has it or why it exists outside of Living Island, which is where Puff and stuff takes place. Living Island. Yes, Living Island is a horrifying place. Is it like the giant turtle from uh, Never Ending Story? I love that no. guy. No. If it's a good thing, why would you ask me and expect me to say yes? It's like. All right, that. fair point. Go ahead. Um, so like he's walking along the shore of Big Bear Island, a boat comes up. Like a, a boat that's looking at him. Mm. By the way, comes just, up to just shore. want to point out, we cannot warp from this level, so we haven't done the other the other twelve. I th I think there might just be something weird about uh, about twelve, but we'll Maybe. figure it out when we when we cross that bridge. Anyway, so he, a boat comes up that's looking a, at him. A living boat comes up to him that stares at him, and he has a magical flute, and he's like, "Well, yeah, I'll get on that boat." So he rides the boat, and then like while he's like riding the boat, and he has no idea where it's going to take him. Uh, Witchy Poo, who is the villain of the series. Witchy, Witchy Poo. Poo. Yeah, Witchy Poo. Fuck off. Uh, she's flying on her vroom vroom. <laughs> You're like literally already like recoiling in horror. <laughs> Witchy Poo uh. flies by on her vroom vroom. Uh, eventually, the, the show manages to infer that she is the one who sent the boat, but it takes like eight of the 17 episodes to get to a point where you really understand you that. You watched 17 episodes of this show? We watched the whole series in one night, that's the whole point. Are they like 
22 minute episodes? Yeah. Okay. At least it's not an hour <laughs> oh my long. My god, episode. that'd be awful. Why would you even say that? You're <laughs> a monster. Um, so, like, she's flying by in her vroom vroom, and she sees him, and she, like, she, like, transforms the boat into some sort of monster boat that's attacking him with, like, disembodied stuffed animal arms. Like you do. And so, like, he, he abandons ship and tries to swim to shore, but when, where he arrives is Living Island, where Puff and Stuff, who is, the, who is a, a really hideous dragon creature okay. with a southern accent, okay. uh, he, he, who, he... And he's mayor of Living Island, by the way. He's mayor of the Magical Island. Mayor? He's, he's mayor. All right. Um, so, like, Puff and Stuff sees this shit going down, and he's like, oh, crap. So, like, he rides in his rescue racer... <laughs> to the to the shore. <laughs> Product placement. What? <laughs> Isn't Rescue Racer like a shitty toy from the seventies or something? I think it's from the seventies. I think Rescue Racer is like a thing from like three years ago or oh, something. Oh really? All right, whatever. Go ahead. I think it's just a coincidence. Um, but so like, Pumps is like, oh, I gotta save this random kid who I've never seen before. And so one of the best parts of the theme song, and like, Lidsville has a similar aspect, where because th what I, the premise is all. Uh, explained through the theme song, through the intro. Oh, of course. And, like, it's literally taken for granted when the first episode starts. Like, oh, the, really? the pilot picks up from the end of the intro sequence. Oh, God. And Lidsville does the same thing. Well, it's even more jarring in Lidsville. Um, but, like, in the theme song, like, when, when the boy Jimmy with Magical Flute gets to shore, like, the song goes, But who will get there first? And then, like, like as they're finished singing that, Puff and stuff rides up on his rescue racer. <laughs> it's like, way to build suspense there, Sid and or Marty Croft. <laughs> These guys are real good. Oh my god. Um, so then it's also like, uh, the song basically goes on to say, just paraphrasing here, something like, you know, oh, like Puff and stuff saved the day and it made Witchy Poo so mad that she shook her fist and shook and shook and shook. And then it's like, Puff and stuff's your best friend. Doop -doop -doop. It's like, <laughs> What? Wait, you, he just, like, invoked the wrath of a malicious witch. We should be concerned about that. That seems important. I got a bezel shard, by the way. I saw that happen. So this show sounds amazing. You know that I've tried to be more wrong than that, than the statement you just made, and it's not possible. So you didn't enjoy. It's worse than Lidsville. That in, it, in and of itself is, is enough of a description. Are you sure you didn't love it a lot? Yeah. Shit. So I shouldn't have called the cast and invited them to your house for Christmas. Um, anyone who's not dead is real old. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I remember a after the Lidsville thing, I, like, looked up some, like, interviews from, like, cast members to see what they had to say about the show in retrospect. Me on offense, and, like, Leanne goes both ways. that was from, like, hey, 2008 or 2010 or something. Uh -huh. And, like, everyone on that show was real old, except the boy who's, like, you know, full-grown adult. Yeah, right. It was so bad. And, like, there <laughs> there was... In one of the last episodes, there was this line that, like, none of us could understand why it was in the episode. Because, like, it was... This wasn't, like, part of the plot line. It wasn't, like, a character thing. It wasn't ever addressed by the series. But, like, one of the characters just kind of starts freaking out and shouts, The spiders are coming! The spiders are coming! Oh, fuck, not the spiders. But, like... I mean, it was basically, like, the grid bugs from Tron. It was, like... Oh no, grid bugs! What? Because <laughs> like they never come up again. Yeah, right. It was like the same thing, only it was like scarier. Cause it's like, what spiders they talk about? What is a spider? Are the spiders coming? Are the spiders actually coming? <laughs> Dracula is coming! You ever seen that? Uh, I imagine is was that one of the ones by? Uh, God, who's the guy who does that? Shit? I forget. Uh, it was in the Flash Tub. Is that on uh, something? Awful. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I've probably seen it. Yeah. Unless you've been watching it like way more recently than I've. No, no. This reason. was this was a long time. Yeah. Ago. I, 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 like, I imagine I was probably watching more of the Flash Times than you. Yeah. My brother I don't showed remember me this it, on a very uh, smoke-inducing night. Hazy was there was uh, we, we were smoking weed. I was trying to be. <laughs> 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 what I'm trying to say here <laughs> is that we were smoking weed. Uh, it's almost killed me. We have a million bezels now. Yeah. Good lord. Like, that's actually kind of scary to look at. There's so many of them. And we're only one shard away from having another one. I know. Um, this is one of the reasons why I really thought we should do this before. You were sort of like, oh, this is like, everyone will love this. This is a stalling tactic. But, like, seriously, like, it'll be a lot easier 
Yeah. <laughs> we'll just be able to do a whole bunch more. Yeah, it's true. Also, we'll just be able to die, and it won't matter. Well, yeah, like, there's- it just provides you so many more important, like, resources and abilities. Why isn't he dead? Because he's got, like, a lot of hit points. Thank you. Jesus Christ. So, you're gonna see your brother over Christmas, right? I am gonna see my brother over Christmas. So, you should watch Puffin stuff in a single night. Yeah, we're not doing that. No, you should do it. It's definitely not happening. But you should do it. The problem, I think one of the big problems with Puffin stuff, as compared to Lidsville, and I don't know why this argument needs to be made, but it's happening. Okay. Is that, like, <laughs> Puffin stuff was, I think, like, the first, like, show that the, the Croft Brothers were in charge of. Oh, so they learned things? For well, like, I mean, that's, that's sort of, like, implied as part of it, but, like, Puffin stuff was clearly meant to be about Puffin stuff to some significant degree. Yeah. So he's one of the only characters that's really developed, but okay. by the end of the show, he's barely present in the episode. Really? Yeah. And, like, a similar thing happens in Lidsville, where, like, originally it seemed like it was supposed to be about the boy in that one, which makes more sense. Scratch damage full. Um, so, like, in Lidsville it was, like, supposed to be about Mark, the boy gets trapped in Lidsville. Right. But by the end of the series, it's all about the evil wizard hoodoo. Really? Yeah, like, literally, like, I think two of the last three episodes of Lidsville, like, <coughs> have, like, a single scene with Mark in them. Wow, really? Like, it's really stupid. Pretty sure we got a perfect date, by the way. Well, Is we certainly didn't get a bezel, because we didn't hero gauge up. Alright, so I guess it's, uh, your turn. Yeah. Hex I imagine up, you're bro. cutting out most of you just trying to be like, God damn it, today, yeah, we're still walking. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna cut that out. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Um... So you're just gonna Damn do it, there's like no then... actual like thing I can do here. No, definitely not. Oh, there you go. Oh, accidentally did it. Yay! Good Although orb. I don't think the red hex here is filled in. I'm gonna see real quick. No, it's not. Oh, penis. Yep. But I'm 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 even more sure that there wasn't a way to do that and also get both of those other things. Yeah, so I was gonna have to double up on something. Definitely not. At least this level's small. Yeah. It's a, it's a smaller one. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So we got that going for us. Smaller. What? Penis. Are you making a euphemism? Euphemism. <sighs> Instead of euphemisms, people should just yell euphemism. <laughs> like skull joke? <laughs> yep. Skull joke. Skull joke. <laughs> I can never think of a good example of a skull joke, but like... I want to be able to, like, explain it to people. Because, like, no one understands if they haven't seen One Piece, which... Yeah. Why haven't you seen One Piece? <laughs> I talk about One Piece with Justin sometimes, and he's like, every single time he forgets it, he's, he's, he says to me, Oh, Bezel Shard! Yay! You're engaged up! Um, he's like, you know, I tried One Piece. Not really my show. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it's not a Justin show. Definitely not a Justin show. Good show, though. I like One Piece. I like it. I'm kind of surprised it's a you show, to be honest. Really? Yeah, it it's very I, I like, cause what like when I first talked about it with Nick, he was like, oh yeah, One Piece, and like that made a lot of sense to me, cause it seems like a Kyle and, and uh, Vasco Nick thing. Yeah. And flub flub recover. It's even more noticeable than uh, <laughs> not doing it. Uh, but yeah, but like I don't know. I I at one point I made the decision to like try and like get you to watch it. But I thought it was going to be more like a Justin reaction, where it was sort of like... What? <laughs> yeah. No, I like it. It's enjoyable to me. Oh, also I was wrong. Level 11 also splits. I think I said 12 is the only one that splits, but I was clearly just lying, because yeah. 11 also splits. I think it's my turn. I want to make sure this red square is uh, actually filled in. Oh, Alright. Yeah. It is. You saved before we came up here. I don't think we need another one here. No, I'm just going to do it. Let's do this shit! We can do this. Have we been here before? No, I don't think so. We've been similar place. Yeah. But not here specifically. I think the one I'm thinking of is that one that had all those like stupid flamethrower dolls in it yeah. that we tried like three times. Oh, that was not good. No, you love that one. Yeah, the double machine gun thing is pretty uh it's pretty multiplier. Oh, there's a leader apparently. Well, it's too late for regrets. Or to apologize. It's too late! That should be our theme song. Then we'd have to, like, to like, I don't know. I feel like a more appropriate theme song for us would be uh, there's a song from one of the Charlie Brown ones. I want to say it's a good man, Charlie Brown, but I might be wrong. 
where all his classmates are singing about how terrible he is. <laughs> and they say, no wonder everyone calls you, dun dun, failure face. What? Yeah, everyone is horrible to Charlie Brown all the time. Poor Charlie Brown. I know. I, I, I often think that... I really like Charlie Brown, but I often feel like I empathize with him far too much. Like, I feel like my life is too similar to him to be healthy. But nobody... And no one in the entire class thinks about how you're a failure face. No, but when I was growing up, I was, like, real not popular. Like, I wasn't, like, like, beaten up on or anything, but I was, like, really alienated from all the other kids. Yeah, I never feel And, like, like, that was really hard. Like, I, I don't want to, like, belittle, you know, people who get, like, physically, like, accosted by other kids, but, like, the, the psychological thing has got to be at least as bad. Like, it was rough. Oh, yeah, totally. I mean, plus, I, I had this unfortunate thing where, like, growing up, I had, like, my first three, like, closest friends, like, move away and, like, never hear from them again. Oh, wow, really? So I was like, yeah, like, after all, I was just sort of like, friends fucking suck. <laughs> like, they just keep disappearing. What's the point of this? Yeah. So, like, for, like basically all the way through, like, my sophomore year of college or something, I, like, didn't have very many close friends. I was just like, I can't even be bothered to try and, like, make connections with people. Yeah. That kind of messed me up. I kind of messed up. A little bit. It's fine. We're all messed up in our own way. Yeah. Look, you can see the other side of level 11 over there. Yeah, you kind of. Yeah, you kind of can. Back down the penis. Mmm. Ride the shaft. Let's do an hour and ten. All right. Okay. All right. Uh. This shouldn't take long. Weird. Bashron thinks it shouldn't take long though, so uh, hop to it. Wow. Stun shot a little bit. I got a stun shot, but these guys' defenses are, must be really strong, because yeah. that didn't do like any scratch damage to him comparatively. Yeah, I mean that said, like the I think the double machine gun strategy is genuinely more Oh, oh it's freaking awesome. It's it's more like straight up powerful in the sense that because scratch damage is determined as a multiplier, yeah. Like you're, you're having two of gun two of the guns just like makes it like exponentially ridiculous. Wow. We got just dick just then. Yeah, but Vashron said this wouldn't take long, so just hurry it up. Alright. Uh, Holy shit, that guy picked up like every single one of your bezel things. <laughs> There's some guy who's just like sitting off to the side who's like hum, 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 hum. Yeah. Just like chewing on the bezel. Is that what do you use the bezel? How does it how do the bezels translate into a physical thing, do you think? Look, he has three full bezels. That's what I'm saying! Like, this guy, he picked up so much! Like, the second you started your hero action, he's like, WOINK! Which is the sound effect of someone picking up three entire bezels. <laughs> or, like, twelve bezel shards. Tits. Well, that's right. our first condition critical. Retry. Try that again. Alright, so... Let's do that again! I'm gonna search the discard pile for an action or new rule card. That's a flex joke. Ah! I was worried he wasn't going to laugh, but then he did. That was weird. I you seem to have already passed the point where that should have been possible. Uh, yeah, I know. Freaked out. I jumped over the wall intentionally, but I wasn't expecting for him to do that. That's fine, whatever. There's no leader this time, right? I just kill all these guys? Yeah. Oh, that one's slightly unfortunate. What the fuck? I was trying to get. I love that they're all like. Oh. They're all like, fuck Vacheron! <laughs> fuck him! <laughs> fuck him real hard! Yeah, for, for some reason I thought they were all going for Vacheron, but I guess only half did and half went for his effort. Yeah. They really went for his effort, though. Yeah. Fucking gauge break, motherfuckers. Which one of them actually has the special <laughs> I landed gauge on the wall, they can't get me. Are so they all sword guys? Yeah, I think at least a lot of them. Most are. of them seem to be. Oh, but there's a level 76 guy. What is he? Is he the same? Oh, there's like 66 or something, aren't they? I don't know. I haven't been paying attention to levels, to be honest. This one is called... Judge's Rada. I think he knows that character from Chowder. This could be going better. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. They're like really strong. No matter how hard I try, I can't seem to break their gauges. 
wonder if there's such a thing as like a gauge break resistance stat. Maybe. At least you got them in a triangle. I was kind of concerned you weren't going to be able to pull that off just because of how it started. I was working hard on that one. Ruin his furniture. And just the fact that they don't get full scratch from one of my things is a little confusing to me. Well, confusing or upsetting? Both. I feel like it's. I, I feel like I understand upsetting. Like I don't know so why it's confusing. happening, and it's pissing me off. Well, it's probably just happening because they're tough. Fuck they're that. tough enough. Fuck that. Come on. Come on. Just shoot more. It's not their fault that you're not shooting enough. Back now. Before supplies run out. Is there any band who's like more quintessentially stuck in the 90s than Smash Mouth? I was just gonna say, I think you're talking about Smash Mouth before <laughs> you even finished your sentence. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. It's not such a tremendous logical leap. Yeah, no, they're pretty, pretty close. For some reason, I was thinking Tumble about Bumba it recently, maybe? and I think it was, I think it was thinking of. We had some conversation where we were talking about Shrek, and like I was thinking about how like Shrek did the I'm a believe the you know the the cover of I'm a believer right and like it's like yeah that's kind of a timeless song in that it's something that's been like covered a bunch of times or whatever yeah. but like their version is so 90s and the only explanation is just because they're such a 90s band yeah I know yeah if they picked anyone else to do the song it would be fine yeah like it, it wouldn't feel so 90s but it's like shit Jesus Christ you're fine aren't, isn't just two left I know I'm fine I'm just amazed at how much damage that guy did that's what they do they sit on you Apparently. Sit, sit, sit on you. I better get a bezel sharp for that shit. <laughs> Bam! Like I said. What were you gonna do if that didn't happen? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good threat. Bring. <clears throat> I don't understand. I'm not sure I ever mentioned this, but it is confusing to me. Your turn. Why they felt the need to like make the the core lifts have like their own like level? What do you mean? Well, you know how, like, the, the core lifts have, like, their own, like, area that you walk oh, around yeah, in? Oh, yeah, like a place you can actually move in, yeah. But, like, so the core lifts have, like, the, the thing you walk around in, but, like, yeah. traveling from, like, some levels, like, arbitrarily, you just, like, you, you, you only need to, uh, to, to, like, press the button, it just makes the bring sound, and you go downstairs. Right, like, yeah. I don't know why... Well, there are some places, I mean, they sort of use it as, a, like, a depository for, like, characters you need to interact with. Yeah, but, like, there's so many other ways to do that. <coughs> What's a box dude? You wanna kill him? Sure, I can fucking kill him, I don't care. Kill the box dude! Like we're gonna get a rare shard? I don't know, maybe. It'd be crazy, wouldn't it? I think I need, like, a single charge ring <coughs> with a double machine gun, like... <laughs> yeah. Gonna lick our bones clean. Ew. What? Don't you want that? That sounds like a thing that you want. No, I'm alright. <laughs> so like honest. No, I'm alright. <laughs> Thank you for offering that. It's <laughs> level 20. Think I can kill him apart with single gunshots from a handgun that's not doubled up before yeah. the end of this action? Yeah, you totally can. And still kill this guy? No. Oh, oh, bullshit. You got robbed. I dude. did get robbed. You get robbed. Grand Theft Bezel. <laughs> that wasn't so hard. Oh well. Sweet, we got like a single blue energy hex. <laughs> it's totally worth it. Face. Isn't that the thing we were trying to get all along? Totes, my goats. Pretty sure level 12 is covered, but we're gonna check it. Level 11, not so much. All right, we'll do level 11 first then. Okay, Mr. Smart One. Although we're not building down to up in that sense, I guess. We're doing whatever the fuck we please, motherfuckers. That's I, right, I said it. I want consistency. Nope. We got some cocktails. Woo-hoo! We only have six of those. What the fuck? God, I really hope there's not like a porn version of DuckTales called Cocktails. <laughs> I'm sure there is. <laughs> well, now that I've said it, Rule 34 sort of applies. <laughs> yeah. Looks like that hex is open I think already. that one's covered, yeah. <clears throat> uh, Tech, tell me a bedtime story. Alright. There once was a man from Nantucket. 
I don't think that's correct. Story's over. <laughs> Go to sleep. I don't think a man has ever been from Nantucket. I think you're just straight up lying <laughs> to me. Uh. I love that, like, the path we, like, made with these energy hexes. Hey, it's one of those ones that we needed. Now we have nine of them. Three of them, actually. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. But I love that this path we made earlier is just, like, really obnoxious and that it's, like, impossible to, like, not double up how on, much like, you multiple. How much you want to bet that I was the one that did that? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, but I'm not sure that you did. <laughs> uh, well, actually, you know what I think happened? I think I was the one to, like, lead us just to the tower, but I think you probably did the rest. Probably. I don't know. If anyone's paying super close attention and doesn't have to go back to, like, find out, I'd, I'd love it if someone could just tell us off the top of their head, like, oh, yeah. It's no, totally text fault. It's totally text fault. <laughs> always text fault. It's generally text fault, I'm not gonna lie. It's fine, I've come to terms with this. Yeah. Got some more hexes. I love that they, like, build hexes into the floor just so that, like, you don't need to get all the hexes in the world before <laughs> starting. Yeah. Like, it's just a mechanism for being able to continue doing it. Fucking terminal. Seriously, dog. Ching. Chingity ching, eeyaw, eeyaw, Italian Christmas donkey. Just whatever you do, do not sing the little drummer boy. <laughs> Is she still in? She's still in. I'm <laughs> still in. Both of us are still in. Well, I'm not surprised that you're still in, because you apparently avoid Christmas music like the plague. For sure to she. <laughs> How, how many people play this game? Also explain it, because like if we're going to talk about it and yes. all I'm doing is hexing, you might as well explain That's it. That's fair. Alright, so my girlfriend and her friends back in Seattle had this game. Um, I don't know if it had a name beyond the Little Drummer Boy game, but the game is last person to not hear the Little Drummer Boy before Christmas, between Thanksgiving and Christmas. It might even be Thanksgiving and New Year's, but I think it's Thanksgiving and Christmas uh, wins. Um, and so you basically just try to avoid hearing it. Obviously, if someone knows about the game, they can't intentionally get you out. That's bullshit. Um, but beyond that... Well, if they, if they suicide, are they allowed to... If they sing the song themselves, yeah. No, I don't think that's allowed either. I think you have to he you have to hear it without anyone who knows about the game intending you to hear it. I thought. Oh no, you, you were describing a situation in which they all just happened to hear it on like yeah. the radio or something, so right? So she she told me a story about a bunch of her friends. They were all hanging out at a party, and either they were talking about the game. Or somehow someone in the in the room who didn't know about the game was just like, "You guys, listen to this song," and then just put it on, no. and they all were like, "Ah!" <laughs> yeah, it's like they called the Great Massacre of like 2011 or 2000. This game actually sure reminds yeah. me a little bit of um, I don't know, one of my friends like picked up this game from like a, a period of time when he was a, a camp counselor, and like he, he calls the game "Clap Clap Bear," and we often play it when we're when we're like visiting like. Big Bear for like the summer or something, right? Because like the the way the game is played is that you try not to you try to be the last person to say the word bear. Okay. Like everyone initiates the game by like clapping once, clapping a second time, and then. <laughs> and so like the whole thing. There we go. This entire level has been reactivated. From now on, energy stations directed on this floor can be used to travel back to base instantly. Yosh. So I guess there must be something on level twelve. Uh, guess so. You, you want it? Okay. Do you want to save upstairs first? Nah, fuck it. Alright, but it's your funeral. I'm not hexing it again. Smith. Uh, but yeah, so like, Clap Clap Bear, we play a Big Bear, because everything in Big Bear is named like the Big Bear something, or there's just oh, bears all over everything. Like, it just, it's, it's, it's surprisingly difficult to be in the town of Big Bear and not to just constantly be like, thinking about or saying the word bear. Really? Yeah. It's really, I remember, like, there was a year when like, Cause we usually drive up in multiple cars. We, we like some of my friends like we rent like a cabin, and it's, it's usually like ten or twelve of us or something. So it's like multiple cars. And someone was like, "So like, how do I get to the the place where we like pick up the keys?" And he's like, "Well, you gotta drive down." B oh. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was like a serious question. It was like, "Well, I don't know how to answer that." <laughs> That's awesome. One year, someone tried to get someone out by like, like the. In, in the cabin we were staying, there was, like, some, like, complimentary, like, bear shampoo, but, like, the name of it was written in Spanish, so, like, they were like, does it count? I got her to read the name in Spanish. And we're like, no. Why the hell would that count? You're just being a dick. Like, so, like, 
Leveled up! That's nice. How much have we actually been leveling up during this whole shit nonsense? Oh, I don't know, a whole bunch. We got a, well, a we got like a million scrapped thing thing. Yeah, we did. We also got a doll, by the way. Wow, really? Yeah. That was our prize for that one? Uh, uh yeah. Man, those are like never good for anything. They're like good for something, but not for something good. Yeah, it's true. Maybe if you get like all of them, you get something amazing. That'd be really- like, To my knowledge, the something. only ways to get them are like hexing and red squares. So we might actually be able to get all of them? Unless there's like something I don't know about or I'm not thinking of? Oh, yeah, that's the point. I didn't even think of that. I didn't until I just said that. Like, I was like, as I was saying it, I was working out, I was like, wait a minute! Yeah. Bam! You know what I think? I think that for the future, in honor of this game, we should determine a week of the month that is Strong Week, and we should celebrate it. That's a great idea. We should totally do that. When is Strong Week? We'll have to think about it. Um, I think people can weigh in in the comments if they have any ideas as to what week would be good for Strong Week. Yeah, totally. Leave a comment. Like, maybe it should be, like, the anniversary of when, like, the first Strong Bad cartoon went up or something? <laughs> is it just where we, like, talk about Strong Bad the entire week or something? I could do it. <laughs> I, I could know do it once could. a year every year. <laughs> I'm certainly aware of this skill. <laughs> God gave me a gift. I Strong Bad. I strong bed very well. <laughs> When's the last time you saw Mystery Men? I love that movie. Long time. I put it on the list. <laughs> Speaking of Smash Mouth. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> um, I put it, my girlfriend and I have a list of movies that we all need to watch. Oh, I chose the wrong character. Yeah, you I, I did. Up done. top. Oh! That was just me. Tech had nothing to do with it. <laughs> Um, I think it was actually relatively convincing, though. It was. <laughs> uh, we have a, a list of movies and TV shows that we need to watch. How long is your list? Uh, it's really long. Um, Mystery Men is on it. And I was like, have you seen Mystery Men? And she's like, no. And I'm like, oh my god. Wait, she's never seen Mystery Men? No. Is she drunk? <laughs> At all times? Not At all times that she hasn't been watching Mystery Men? Not Man, that I'm aware drunk? of, no. <laughs> she seems generally sober most of the time we spend together. That's surprising to me also. It means you're not making very good use of that rights-giving present I got you. I didn't say all of the time. Okay. <laughs> Man, I really- I gotta figure out my- my ride for the end of the world. Yeah. I haven't done that yet. Have um, you figured that out? Yeah, my, uh, uh, Danielle's friend is- who lives near here is driving us to the flyaway and then we're having to- Oh, sweet. To shuttle ourselves from there. Better than nothing. Because everyone is flying that day. Yeah, no, like, like it's seriously, everyone is flying on the 21st this year. Like, yeah, there's so, no variance. By like, the way, every single person is, like, flying on the 21st. If you live in, in the Southern California area and are flying out of LAX on the 21st, yeah. like everyone else in the world, uh, you should probably go early. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, the, for Thanksgiving, I was there, like, four hours early. Yeah. That was, I, that was too early. I that went was... really early, like in terms of days for Thanksgiving, so I did not have any problems. I mean, the thing was, like, I was, like, four hours early for my flight, but I was, in fact, so early that, like, I was, I was like, running up against traffic from, like, flights before mine. It was like, well, this is counterintuitive and annoying. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is probably worse than just showing up on time for my flight. Yeah, right. Of course, for me, it was more that I didn't have another option as to when I could get yeah. a ride there, so it's just like, well, guess I'm going four hours early. Yeah, this is kind of the problem with traveling for Christmas with your girlfriend. Wait, wait, so wait, 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 wait. Gotta go down here. to 12. We gotta oh, yeah. check 12. Down to 12. Oh, no random encounter. That was nice. Why'd you say that? Ser I thought I got all this. It is there something like, that's not... It looks not... like you did. I don't know. I'm just gonna do Yeah, them. just walk on everything real quick. Too late. <laughs> Why did you just jump in there? I don't know, I just kinda did. <laughs> you just like did it instinctively, you're like, I didn't wanna do that. <laughs> it's kind of a bad idea, this could go really badly. <laughs> It'll be fine. I sure hope There's so. just like a whole bunch of gremlins all rushed over to this, those guys. WELCOME there. TO OUR ROOM! <laughs> Let's be best friends! God, this is gonna be really unpleasant to listen to on YouTube. Sorry about that. Yeah, it really is. Oh well. Why are they wearing, like, salt shakers on their heads? Uh, I don't know, they're kind of awesome. I want to be their friend. <laughs> but 
There's one up there too. Oh my god! They oh just my god! Zeppelin that was to death. horrifying. To death. Wasn't that just like two of them yes, that like two basically of them. killed him? There's nobody that scratched. All right. Yeah. Remember that time? This is a bad idea. It's gonna be. It's a bad idea. It's gonna be fine, Vasco. Totally fine. Another That's tech. Great. I think you might be making better use of that Ben Franklin beer opener than I initially suspected. Uh, like I said. Fine. Come on. Gauge break, fuckers. Shit. Alright, well they're gonna slap Zep to death for sure. Hey, you know what's a fun fact that we, we could probably mention? What's that? In the brief amount of time that's probably remaining in this episode? No, no, it's fine. <laughs> what's that? <laughs> well, we were just having this discussion uh, before we started recording that uh, your, your lady acquisition has a connect, and you're like, yes, we connect! Yeah. And then you realize that your Xbox is your Xbox 360 is so old that it is not compatible with the connect. It does not have a port. Which I did connect. not even think was possible. I didn't think Neither that was did a I. thing. Neither did I. I thought it was just a USB port. And yeah, like so did I. And it's like a weird thing that isn't USB. I had no idea. I can't. I'm, I'm no, not even no. sure. No, no! I'm not even what? sure if mine's compatible with that, to be honest. Unless, no, what would it be? Maybe that port that I like plug my like wireless thing into? That might be it? I don't know. I can't think of a port on mine that supports that. Of course I've never tried to connect up to mine. Despite the fact that my sister works for Microsoft. And like <laughs> she gives out like Microsoft things like candy at Christmas. It's kind of amazing. Does she? Yeah. So there's there's a slight issue. Of this was a bad idea and you should feel bad? Well That seems like kind of a major issue actually. What is, what is the slight issue that you perceive? <laughs> I'm leveled up. Looks like you still got some yeah, no, I really want to get the airborne thing. Um, well, the slight issue is that Vacheron ran into one of them, and so... You got... Oh, oh I suck! Fail bar. I suck so much ass! Garbage bar. What is that? What is that? It's like oil, but somehow you didn't die. It's a Hanukkah miracle! <laughs> That's how it works, right? Someone breathed oil on the Jews and they didn't die? That's pretty much exactly what happened. <laughs> That's um, how I remember it. You have a point? I have a point. Fail barge. It's fine. We're doing great. <laughs> I don't think we're doing so great. Everything's great and wonderful. I'm gonna use some smash grenades. Okay. To get out of this ju jam. Ooh, dog droppings! Those are super useful. Do them instead. What? They are super useful. I love that we're always, like, pressing the button so feverishly to, like, make the maximum number of attacks that you can, like, totally hear it in our microphones. Oh, yeah, all the time. Always like, uh, smash, 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 smash. That didn't go as well as I had hoped it would. It didn't go well. At all. Um, what does this triangle look like? Terrible. It looks like a wall. It looks terrible. It looks like me before I put my face on in the morning. I didn't know you had one of those. You didn't know I had a face? Well, I try to keep it on the down low. You do a good job. <laughs> I usually just wear one of those, like, Grim Reaper Halloween hoods. Everything is fine. You know those, like, two-way mesh ones you can only see out of, not into? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, you only have one point by- or one bezel, by the way. Yeah, I know. Just, just, just point- just point in it. Yeah. Just... Okay, kill him. That was unnecessary. I love that you were like flying sideways and then you get the bonus shot and you're just standing still all the time. There's like no intermediate step at all. Should, yeah, you should do a different guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you... Rat, rat, rat. Wait, that was weird. Did you just scratch damage full only like a limb but not anything else? I don't know what. Because that doesn't work that way. No, there's a dude. There's a dude who's fully scratched in front of it. That's why it looked like it was dead. No, but like, it, it, the, the scratch damage full text popped up, which usually only happens when your gun is doing scratch damage full shots. I did it, I didn't know Yeah, that. at least it looked like it. I might be wrong. But I think that's what just happened, but that doesn't make sense because that doesn't work that way. Come and get me, fucker. That's what my doorbell says. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I want one of those. <laughs> Can you have one installed in my place? I don't have a doorbell. Yeah, you, you first need to get a doorbell. 
Do you have a doorbell? No. <laughs> I mean, yes, it says that thing I just said. <laughs> Fuck it. I mean, I ha I at least my like buzz. We we both have buzz boxes, but at least mine has a thing you can use to get inside. Like, ours isn't hooked up to a phone line because it only works with landlines or something. I don't know. That's weird. But like, there there's like a code you can press to like open our front gate, so you don't need to have a key. Which would be useful if my roommate weren't such a pile of butts. He's a pretty big pile of butts. He's I drove him around once. He, he doesn't drive well, though, I must say. <laughs> yeah, do you still have the picture of that time? Oh, yeah, I got it. Yeah, you took, like, a souvenir photo. You should you should pop that back up. Just uh, let people see yeah. what happened. Yeah, there you go. There it is. Yeah. Bam, bitch. Oh, there's still one more man. One Mormon, as it were. Oh, you should use grenades. You should use grenades now. But I should switch away from the good ones. Yes. Molotov regular plus? Rookie grenade. <laughs> Don't that, use rookie grenade. Does gr that do any damage at all? I think so, but like practically negligible amounts. Fuck you. See? That was no problem. I think even, that's an exaggeration. We, got a bezel shard. we did get a bezel shard. That certainly was a problem though. Nah. In any case, just check real quick to see that everything's filled in. Is the far end not? It looks all filled in. I'm it, confused. Maybe the split ones don't let you do that? But level 11 just did when I filled it up on this side. Strange. Check the terminal one. Is the term No, the terminal's popped up. Yeah. Whatever. It's fine. Alright, well I guess join us next time for more of this? Yeah! We got plenty more hexing to do. I hope you're having as much fun as we are!